There are a whole lot of anime that have been created over time, but in only a few, there are certain characters that put that shit on. In most anime, usually the characters wear the same shit every day. Stink ass clothes. They don't even switch it up a little bit. But like I said, there are the select few who drip like a fountain. They put that shit on, man. Today, we are talking about the best dressed anime character. The ones that got a deep ass bag. The ones who consistently put that shit on. I almost forgot to do my intro, bro. What's up, guys? It's Dana I'm coming at y'all with a brand new video. Before we get into it, make sure you guys hit that like and subscribe button. Hit that notification bell. And share the video with your friends, man. I appreciate all the love y'all been showing me, man. That nigga hit 700 subs, bro. Big seven, nigga. Now it's time to hit eight, bro. We slowly building up, nigga. We, we building an army in this bitch. So I appreciate the hospitality y'all been showing me, man. Please keep showing me love, man. I fuck with y'all heavy. But, man, let's get right into this shit, bro. Okay, boom. Number five, this is some simple ass shit right here. We're starting, number five, we're starting, you know, cool, easy. Killua, number five, drip. Now, first things first, this nigga got some sneaky, he got some sneaky ass fits that you wouldn't even realize is tough. First of all, he got white hair. So that just adds plus two points already. Now, I don't remember what arc he had this specific fit I'm thinking about on, but there was an arc where he had like, he was like had on a little skater fit or some bullshit. He had on like these little elbow Kobe sleeves with a white beater, I was like, oh shit, that look kind of tough. You know, Killua, Kill, Killua got some confidence and then he'd be rocking some real exotic shit. I remember one time he had on a pink, he had on a pink shirt or some bullshit. I'm like, damn, that's kind of cool. But here's really why I put Killua on this list in general. One, first thing, the nigga, when he, um, at the start of the Chimera Ant arc, the nigga got hit hard. He got shot in his, he damn near got shot in his head and he had a fucking reevaluation of himself. The nigga stretched out as he recovery stretched out you see his big ass six pack like that nigga that little nigga stunting but bro he pulled up he had the long sleeve shirt on with the fucking i don't even know what those are called the the, the grand master pants bro that shit was tough as nail that shit was so tough I had to put him on the list, man. That shit's comfy. Only real niggas wear those type of pants, bro. So that's why Killua had to be on the list, bro. Calm little, you know what I'm saying? Calm little fit type shit. Ooh, shit. Number four. Ichigo gonna be number four, man. Ichigo, I just thinking about Ichigo, bro. This nigga 17, but he dressed like an old ass man. He should put that shit on better than everybody else, though. Bro, y'all see the robes he be wearing? Everybody else got that same stank ass robe. That nigga Ichigo rocked the all black. Black and white, and we had the bandages on that boy dripping in a bitch. Bro, that's real main character drip, bro. Everybody in there is supposed to have the exact same uniform at all times. This nigga find a way to make it different. The only niggas I could recall having different shit was captains. And this nigga was a substitute soul reaper rocking that shit. Final gets the potential. That nigga had that shit on, bro. He had on like black bandages or some bullshit, but guess what? The nigga hair got long as shit. Boy, he could have pulled some bitches with that. So boom. We got Ichigo on the list, bro, number four. Now we're gonna get to the serious shit. This is number three, bro. So niggas really start to put this shit on here, bro. Number three, I'm putting Law from One Piece. Oh boy, oh boy, that nigga Law, here's the thing about Law. First of all, Law's whole character is unique. His tats in One Piece are the most different tats in the whole show. Bro, he has the best tats in the show. He has this fucking heart on his chest. Boom, with a skull in that shit, that's tough. He got the tats on his arms, boom, nigga got sleeves. I think he's the only nigga in the show with a sleeve. And if he isn't, who gives a fuck, bro? I said he is. This nigga love, bro. He got the, the death tattoo on his fingers, tough as nails. Here's the thing that separates him from the rest of these niggas in One Piece. That fucking hat. Nobody got a hat like that, bro. I don't know where, that's fucking definitely mink or some bullshit. It probably costed him about a million berries for that hat by itself, bro. But here's the thing about this nigga law. Every time we see the nigga, he got a different fit on. Bro, when we first saw him, he had on some basic ass yellow fit. Then we saw him Punk Hazard. This nigga had on a fucking two million dollar berry jacket, nigga. He was not cold out there. Not to mention when niggas got to Wano, he was putting that shit on. Bro, I don't, what do they call it? Those little shit the samurais wear. He had the best one out of everybody. When they went to go fight Kaido, bro, the nigga was standing in the rain with his fucking captain's cape with a yuck. Putting that shit on, boy. This nigga is taking your bitch, nigga. Put that shit on. And remember when I said he used to wear basic shit? Okay. <clears throat> Present One Piece. Spoiler alert. The nigga is fighting Blackbeard. Bro, he's wearing some basic ass beater with the same cape he was wearing or some fur shit or whatever. I don't remember. The nigga gets turned into a woman. Bro, I'm not gonna lie. That's the drippiest bitch I ever seen of all time, nigga, because. 
This nigga, they really turned this nigga law into a bad bitch. Boy, oh boy. It's like, nah. Nah, but they turned him into a badass bitch. And the fit got better. Like, I was at, like, imagine that. Like, me wearing this fit. And you just see I turned into a bitch. Do I get points for that? Like, having titties and shit? Now, number two. This is where shit gets situational. The reason that she is on this list is because she got more money than everyone here. So she could afford all the clothes and shit. We're gonna put BOOM UP! Boma is one of the most annoying bitches I ever heard in my life. Bro, she don't shut the fuck up. She complains. She bitch all day because she's rich. Like, okay. But Boma is surprisingly smart, bro. She she make all types of new shit. She's smart, but she's just annoying. But I realized Boma really be putting that shit on. She got she's so rich. She got her own like designer shit, bro. The book she got the, the the classic Boma hat. That fit is tough. She got a fit with Boma across the chest or on the jacket or some shit. Boma got the Playboy bunny fit. You know Boma, one of the biggest bops in Dragon Ball. So she gotta have some horse shit. This is so embarrassing. I can't believe I'm doing this. Hmm? That's it. She always rocking some shorts or some tough shit, to be honest. Boma, early Boma, she was putting that shit on better than everyone in Dragon Ball. She's the best dressed female in all the anime, I'm pretty sure. She's the only female anime that consistently put that shit on. You go in her closet, she got everything. Like, from Louis to fucking Lacoste, nigga. Niggas don't know what that is. Fucking Vet Ma and all type of shit. And the thing about Boma is she actually don't look bad in any fits, to be honest. I remember she had on this little Emperor fit in one of those arcs, but bro, she looked pretty tough in it. Only thing I don't like about Boma. And when she decided to cut her hair, I don't know why she would do that. I don't know about that, bro. She kind of looked like a fucking egghead after that or some shit. But all in all, overall, Boma got the best drip in Dragon Ball. And that's why she on the list, bro. Boma. Number one, bro. Now, this nigga, I got respect for this nigga, bro. I usually don't. When I make these lists, I try not to put people from the same show on the list. But this nigga, come on, bro. He put that shit on better than anybody. No one else in anime wear. No one else in anime wear what he wear on a consistent basis, bro. Number one, bro. I'm gonna put Sanji, nigga. Now let me break this shit down, bro. Sanji, when he first gets introduced to the show, he wear a normal all black suit. First of all, nobody else wearing a suit. And the way he rock it is cool as hell. He's skinny as shit, so he can basically wear anything. You know, skinny niggas can get away with certain shit. Like I can't wear some tight ass jeans, but this nigga can. He's skinny. Sanji, bro, he can wear a lot of shit, bro. The, the nigga cool as hell. He smoke all the time. That's a part of the fashion, bro. Because a lot of shit, if we didn't have the cig in his mouth, the, shit, the fit might not hit as hard, bro. With the smoke going up and shit, he look cooler. So, boom, the next fit I can remember is um, in that's Lobby, he pulled up with some orange shit, bro. Tough. He had, when they went to um Sky Island, he had on some little tropical shit. Bro, that's the thing. Every arc, they switch fits. And his nigga has never missed. I don't think Sanji's ever missed with his fits, bro. He's been spiffy the entire time. God, that nigga is the definition of dress to impress. No bullshit. Fits I really want to highlight are the fits she was wearing in Whole Cake. Oh, shit. This boy was looking sturdy. All right. When he first got the Whole Cake, he had on this little white, little regular white shirt. But he had a cape on. That shit really matched this shit. Like, damn. Some little colorful cape. I'm like, shit, boy. Not only that, but he's about to marry one of the baddest bitches on whole cake. Got three eyes, all type of shit, but she bad, no bullshit. And then, the shit he had on at the wedding, bro, I never seen a suit like that, bro. All white, off white, fucking long. I'm like, damn, boy. He got that shit on, bro. Wano, he was rocking his little robe, tough as nails, like a samurai. He was rocking that shit, yellow. Not to mention his black stealth fit. First of all, the transformation for that shit is so tough. But his suit just, it just, it's so much better than the other ones. It's so much better than his brothers and sisters or whatever. Bro, Sanji just give off like a drippy ass vibe. Like the nigga got it for real. He be putting that shit on every episode. There's not an episode where he has a trash ass fit on. There's episodes where Luffy got some bullshit. Zoro got some bullshit. Zoro be in the weight room, but Zoro be having some bullshit on sometimes. Some little basic bullshit. 
Sanji, put that shit on every episode. All a thousand episodes. Put it on. And that's my five right there, bro. Those are the five cleanest niggas in anime, bro. Let me get... Hey, guys. Let me know in the comment section down below if there's anybody else that I could have said who, who really be putting that shit on, bro. But I think these five really put that shit on, bro. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you guys hit that like and subscribe button to support the channel. Like I said, we are now on our own to 800 subs. Thank you guys again for 700. I really appreciate it. <sighs> Share the video with your friends. Like I said, hit that notification bell. And yeah, I'm going to see you guys. Damn it. Yeah, I'm going to see you guys later, man. I'm out. Every crime except rape. Names are my savage like I'm out the egg. We call the body and still beat the case. Move into slummy days, switch up the pace. Used to be my mom driving a race.